Get ready to match the stars. Nipsey Russell, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley. From Three's Company, Suzanne Summer, Richard Dawson, and Patty Doyle. As we play the star studded Big Buddy Match Game 77. And now here's the star of Match Game 77. Gene Ravers! Got a new kid on the block, eh? <laughs> ah, then do your duty, <laughs> fireman. Cousin. Who? No. Just kidding. Your cousin to yeah, whom? Yeah, but it's the same spelling as Brett's. Yes. Summers, S-O-M-E-R-S. Oh, it is, She's really? an elderly character woman, yeah. as you can mm -hmm. see. <laughs> we must give her a proper what welcome. What are you preparing for? Oh, yes, for? indeed. <laughs> now, if you'll just do a little polite applause while I welcome her properly. Da, 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 da. Wow. <laughs> welcome, Suzanne. Welcome to you. <laughs> Well, have you had any of the diseases on this list? <laughs> yes. You've got this I one right now. <laughs> you have trench mouth. Oh. oh. Just joking. We Just have joking. trench hand here. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. Remember welcome, one hand. and all. Now let's say hello to the two players, Linda Tibbetts and Juanita Whitley. <laughs> you ready? I certainly am. Linda is the current chap. She has $6,200 to her credit. She's won two games, and uh, she's very happy about that. She's going to buy her husband a car, right? No, I'm going to take him fishing. Oh, you're going to take him fishing? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little cheaper than buying him a car. And uh, Juanita, you did pretty well with your first round question, matching two celebrities. We'll carry on with yours in a moment or so, right after we do this for you. Now I'm ready, and here we go. Whoops. There we go. Now, this is the other first round question. It belongs to Linda Tibbetts. And it we reads as follows. Weird Wanda is a real nature lover. Yeah. Yesterday, she spent the entire afternoon kissing a blank. <laughs> She's a nature lover, you see. Weird Wanda spent the entire afternoon kissing a blank. She's a nature lover. Well, it means, yes, we understand that. Oh, you do? Yeah. Kissing yeah. a blank. Boy. Spent the entire so afternoon kissing choices. a blank. Aren't there? Yes. This is a first round question, isn't it? A first round question, and means you. That's very good. Now, that's what I would have said if I had I been playing the game. Really? Yes, indeed. I knew that. Pick it up. Yeah. Oh. Then you pick it up. Right. And you slide I'm a new there. girl on the block. You're the new girl, and yeah. there you go. Now we're all set. Kind of messy, though. Charles isn't ready as usual. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to speak to him? He will be ready in a moment. And here we go with Linda. Weird Wanda is a real nature lover, Linda. Yesterday, she spent the entire afternoon kissing a blank. Tree. Tree. Yeah. Tree is good. Nipsey, she said kissing a tree. Well, I wasn't thinking like that. You see, I go by nature and the raw is seldom mild. I said kissing a bear. Oh. That would be difficult, wouldn't it? It will indeed. Yes. Because what... smoky smokes. <laughs> what do you say? What's this from? Take a month in the country, Miss Moon, or you'll find yourself under a tree or a bush. That uh, Humphrey Bogart said that. Wrong. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Who said that? From Clifford Odette's Golden Boy. Ferelli says it to Lorna Moon. Bush! <laughs> <laughs> what did I get caught into here? I... You're getting you weirder. You're getting you? weirder and weirder as time goes on. Every <laughs> reference to a play is 50 years old. Every star is 75 years old. She doesn't even know the wall. <laughs> 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 That's a seven. Yesterday yes. we heard Edna May Oliver. Yes. <laughs> I chose flower. Oh, you did. 
Thank you, sir. We're looking for a tree here. Now, Suzanne, here's your first time at bat. Weird Wanda's a real nature lover. Yesterday, she spent the entire afternoon kissing a, and she said, tree. I'm gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Very good. See, the new kid on the block, all the veterans up there who've done it a thousand times, they didn't know what the answer That's was, right. but the new kid right. did. Right. <laughs> and you, That's sir. Right. Now, she is weird, isn't she? She is very weird. Spent the entire afternoon kissing a... Fruit. <laughs> a fruit. That's weird. <laughs> California's okay if you're a grapefruit. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Not to mention a nut. A nut. Fruits and nuts, eh? Trees and herbs. So there we are at the end of round one. Scores two to one in favor of the challenger. We go to round two now and ask the challenger to make a selection of A or B. I'll take B again, please. B it is. Juanita, only four people play. Charles, you lay out, and Richard, you lay out. The rest of you, please respond to this. Arnold the artist said, to be a great artist, you have to suffer. Yeah. To suffer. And that's why every day, I drink blank. <laughs> be Sweetness, a great, come over here. Somewhere. To be a great artist, yes, you, have you have to, to suffer. suffer. You have to suffer. That's why every day I drink blank. Great artist. Gotcha. Artist. You just go along with him and then he leaves you alone until you come up with the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got the idea there, buddy. This is a difficult one. Okay. Juanita, are you ready for it? Here yes. it is, one more time. Arnold the Artist said, to be a great artist, you have to suffer, and that's why every day I drink... Paint. Paint, certainly he's an artist. See how easy it is? She got it right off the bat there. Artist, you see. That's why I kept saying artist. Oh, artist. They use paint, you see. Artist drinks paint. I yeah, see. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> or turpentine or any of that stuff. House painters can drink paint. Yes. Artists have to squish it out of that little tube. Yes. Which makes it very hard. So they dilute it with a little turpentine. Turpentine is another good answer. There. I don't am you me. You not playing. Okay. All right. Anything you say, Charles. Don't intimidate me. All right, Suzanne. See, I associated suffering and drinking with one thing. Booze. One <laughs> does suffer when yeah. one drinks booze. <laughs> yes. And you, sir, you don't play. You, ma'am, you do play. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, your basic turpentine. Turpentine. So there we are. You've picked up one more. Juanita scores three to one, middle of round two. And uh, when we get back from this commercial, you match two to tie, three to win. Here we go. Ready. Now, Linda, match two to tie, three to win. Here we go. Peter the Pirate said. Peter the Pirate says, ah, you don't play. I know, I just saw this. I play, I play. You play. You're the only one who doesn't play. Oh, that's right, you match him. Why? He says, ah, oh, I never should have picked a fight with Long John Silver. Now I've got a peg leg stuck in me blank. Honey. <laughs> what? You just did Long John Silver. Oh. A peg leg. Oh, so Peter the Pirate said, I, I never should have picked a fight with Long John that's Silver. Bad. Now I've got a peg leg stuck in me blank. Very good. That's much better. And see, I've got to get right. different characters in there. That, you know how it is in the sea. <laughs> how is it at the sea? Well, I don't know. You find that boat all by yourself, all alone for all those months. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah, Nipsey. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be in the movie version of The Whiz? I am. When are you, uh, you going to start that? We are, we, already. We've already started the... Uh, group rehearsals, but yeah. they, what they call principal photography starts in August, and I'm going to play the Tin Man, you know. You guy. are. Oh, wow. oh, hey, that'll be wonderful. <laughs> Good for you. All right, Linda, we're all, we're almost ready. <laughs> Charles, just put Good it in the slide. Gravy Marie, my life right. is not easy. Peter the Pirate said, I, I never should have picked a fight with Long John Silver. Now I've got a peg leg stuck in me blank. Buns? Buns? <laughs> There is hope, Juanita. 
I don't know if anybody's going to say that over here. What do you say, Nipsey? Well, you do accept synonyms, don't you? I suppose so, sure. I got a stump in me rump. A stump in me rump. <laughs> Score is now three to two. I suppose you don't accept anonyms. No, <laughs> no. Well, okay, then. I said the bun on my left side. The bun on my left side. One to nine. That's three to three. Being, Score is tied. Being a sea captain myself, Yes, Gene, of course. I did it in uh, sea language, in my bow. In my bow. Which I think matches. No, the oh, stern. The stern. The stern would be a match, but the bow is not a match. <laughs> Sorry about that, I Captain. The stern was the front. No, oh. no. The bow is the front. <laughs> Charles. The stern is the back. Charles. Now you've been inviting me to go on your boat. I wouldn't go on your boat if you don't know your bow from your stern. You <laughs> holy mackerel. I don't know upstage from left stage from right stage, but I still am funny once in a while. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's true. All right, Richard. I, I am glad that we brought that up because I meant to tell Charles yes. uh, we were going sailing tomorrow, and I, I have to uh, okay. run for the governor of Kentucky tomorrow, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I want to, to do it, but yeah. please don't okay. take offense. Foul take a rain line. check. Exactly, right. thank you. I did use a nautical term, navel. Navel, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nautical yeah. term. Look at that. It's for the okay. deep thinkers. Now, we've got a tie going here. Are you going to break the tie, Patty? It's entirely up to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was thrown off by your last reading. Oh. The, when you switched from Long John Silver to the kind of... Peter, the sailor, yes. Yeah, and I said he got it stuck in his earring. In his earring, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they wear those. Only real sea-going man here. That's right. Well, now this game ends in a tie, and here's what happens. When we have a tie, we have to turn off all the lights and push a button here, reveal one tie-breaking question for each. The one who's matched the most celebrities at the end of the one round will be the winner. And Juanita, you may have A or B. I'll stay with B. B it is. Okay, here we go, tiebreaker. Let's see what it says here. 102-year-old Mrs. Periwinkle said, ah, 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 ah. You're a girl, aren't you? Give me some candy. <laughs> yeah. She says, I hate it when my husband plays hockey. I hate it. He uses my cane as the hockey stick and my blank as the puck. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like it at all. Do you know I got a letter from a 102-year-old man? It was so cute, he had his great-granddaughter write it. He wrote and said, I think, I love the show, and I think you're all wonderful. And he wrote this, had the dictated this long, lovely letter that his granddaughter did. Isn't he did not him? take offense to our uh, no, he characterizations said he thought it was of adorable elder. And Good. I'm had, glad he to hear that. 102. Right. Well, now, Juanita, we're up to you. 102-year-old Mrs. Periwinkle says, I hate it when my husband plays hockey. He uses my cane as the hockey stick and my blank as the puck. Head? Head. What did you say? You said head. Well, yeah. What I think you lost yours. <laughs> OK. Nipsey, she said head. She wasn't thinking. You, you know the limerick about the guy from Calcutta who had such a terrible stutter? He screwed up his face when he tried to say grace and he spat his false teeth in the butter. <laughs> in the butter. <laughs> See, it does look a little bit like a hockey puck, Juanita. I don't know the... much about hockey. <laughs> I love Mrs. Periwinkle. I like her better than Mr. Periwinkle. <laughs> She's crankier. Yes, yeah, some days Mr. she gets Mr. very unhappy. Well, Mr. Periwinkle is sort of nice and, yeah. and but she... she's really, she's She's testy. <laughs> I said teeth. Teeth. That seems to be the response there, Chuck. Dentures. Dentures. Good. Yes, they do remind one of a hockey puck, except the color's a little bit different. Suzanne, what did you say? Well, she's just an old lady. I didn't want her to get hurt, so I said her purse. You said her purse as a hockey puck. Yes. Please. I'm just a compassionate human being, yeah. you see. She's a new kid on the block, so don't <laughs> boo her. Don't what boo. You? Yes, Richard. El Denturo. Denturo. <laughs> Near Oxnard. You'd have five of those so far if you'd said that. What do you say? Also being a compassionate human being, I said her pacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> I think they got us both right there, Juanita. Now, Linda, you got a shot at it. All you have to do is match one celebrity, and when you will have won your third game, and we'll do that right after we do this for you. People are expressing a little appreciation for the talent of Brett Summers, who's been on the show four years. Seems like eight, but it's only four years. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed? All right, now, Linda, remember what you have to do. Match one to, t one to win the, your third game. The great Bonzini. Bonzini. Bonzini has the strangest act in show business. Uh -huh. yes. He eats lead and blanks bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Yada ba dum ba da 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 He makes lead and blanks. He's he, a magician, He eats right? lead and blanks bullets. The great Bonzini. Oh. He's in show business. Probably a, a traveling carnival or a circus or something like that. Don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Yes. <laughs> 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 now, Linda, here we go. The great Bonzini has the strangest act in show business. He eats lead and blanks bullets. I have two. Oh. You have two? Uh-huh. Give us your second one. <laughs> no, anything you want to do. Spits. And remember, he spits bullets. Yeah. Is that your first impulse? Yes. And that's what we say here. They say, use your first impulse, and that's what she did. And she said, he spits bullets. What do you say? Well, my first one was Belch, and I threw it away. Yeah. He fires bullets. He fires bullets. Okay. I said spit. Spit wins the day. What the rest of you have? Okay. We're still going to say goodbye to Juanita. You made a good try at it, Juanita. Thank you. Took her to a tiebreaker. We congratulate you. We have many gifts for you. Thank you for being with us on Match Thank Game 77. Juanita Whitley. Now, Linda, you picked up another hundred dollars. There it is. Again, it's all for you. You have a total of six thousand three hundred. You could win an additional five thousand or more here right now. We polled a studio audience not too long ago. I think it was in the spring of the year. And we said, give us your best response to this. Ron Blank. Now, the answer they responded most frequently with gets you $500 if you match it, $250 for matching the second one, and $100 for matching the third most popular answer. And three of the six dingalings are uh, permitted to assist. Richard. The marvelous young man who, who's now directing, he's in Happy Days, Ron Howard. Ron Howard, yes. Yeah. Right? Charles, please. <laughs> uh, he's thinking. Well, this one I remember from years ago, Ron Cochran, in the news. What? Uh, <laughs> wonderful. You certainly have a long memory. Uh, and you certainly are a rotten game player. All right, Ron Field. Ron Field, that's your last Another chance. Another wonderful show. Another one. Okay, Ron Field is what he said. Nipsey. The one who plays with the sweat hogs, Ron Palillo. Ron Palillo, yeah. So you have Ron Palillo, Ron Howard, and Ron Field. Now, you may choose one of those or give us one of your own. What is your uh, inclination here? Well, I have a 15-year-old daughter that loves Ron Howard, so. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's find out. We got Ron Howard up there. Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Oh my yeah. Whatever Listen, happened. It must have been Remember Republican. Con yeah. When he was a movie actor, it was Ronald Reagan, and then he became governor and became Ronald Reagan and changed his name there. May we Who see the $250 response? Ron, Ron Nesson. Nesson. That's, that's, that's the name what name I was trying to think of. of. Yeah, you were trying to think of that? Yes. I, I knew a lot of wonderful, forgettable people up here that... <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the last chance for Ron Howard. This May we see it, it, please? Yeah. Oh, you got it! Yeah. Oh, boy! That was good. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah. You know, that was a hard one. You did very well there. Picked up another 500, got 6,800, and you're gonna play for 10 times the amount you just won, or $5,000. And if you match one celebrity exactly, we will give you that amount of money. Now you have to choose one. Richard, please. Okay, you did it before. Let's see if you can do it again. Worth $5,000, and good luck to you. 
engagement blank. Engagement blank. Okay, now Richard made up his mind very quickly, and we ask you to take your time if you wish. Give us an answer that matches his, we give you the money. I don't want to think anymore. Ring. Ring. Yeah. All right. She wants to get it over with. I went to a party the other day, exactly the same thing. They gave her a ring. <laughs> ah. There you have $11,800. How about that? Who's that over there with the mustache? My husband. Is that your husband? My sister and my sister mother and, and mother. my brother and my daughter. And your brother, well, they're all very happy for you there. Your husband has spent the money already. Oh. While we're uh, celebrating here, we got a little message just for you. Listen, you were all splendid. I hope you enjoyed your first outing here. I had here. a great time. Wonderful. Join mm -hmm. us next time for Match Game 77. I'm Gene Rayburn. Goodbye. <laughs>